guys mac here so i wanted to talk about how to go about uh, tackling or approaching your google footprint uh, and if you're a business owner uh, if you're an entrepreneur having a strong google footprint is must in many ways if you're just starting out uh, and i have a couple of things um, uh, to uh, sort of brainstorm uh, your ideas or thoughts right uh, uh, so the first stat is there are 3.5 billion search queries per day that are being conducted on Google. The next one is search results on the first page of the Google. They drive 91% of the entire web traffic. And the third one is 75% of the people who are searching something on Google, they never turn their attention to the second page. So how do you really go about uh, uh, tackling or conquering your Google footprint. So you need to keep uh, thinking about three things. Number one is Google PPC AdWords. That's a paid advertising marketing technique. Uh, next one is Google My Business. It's used for local search engine uh, uh, queries. And then the third one is organic SEO. Uh, SEO stands for search engine optimization and it is well known technique that allows your website to get uh, ranked higher in the eyes of the Google. So in terms of the preference, right, uh, 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 when to use what, right? So in terms of the Google, uh, how Google uh, uh, shows or displays these results. So they give higher priority, higher preference to the advertisers or the businesses who are willing to pay more dollars to Google so that certain keywords they get shown up higher so that is where google gives them the high priority on the top of the search results then the next one is if someone is do doing like a local search right google my business is a free utility that most businesses tend to overlook and it's a free utility so long as you have a legitimate a local address you can uh, fill out your google my business profile uh, so there is a name, address, phone number, category of the business, the business de description. You can also create some kind of post that describe uh, more about your business. You can upload certain pictures, high quality pictures. So that's the Google My Business. It's good for the local um, organic SEO. If you are not taking advantage of that, I would highly uh, uh, encourage you to look into that. It's, you can do it practically yourself. And the third one is uh, your traditional organic SEO that does take some time. So Google PPC AdWords is instant. Uh, so long as you have done proper keyword research, so long as you know about your niche, uh, you can practically get started very quickly. Uh, and the results will be also quicker. But right now there is a high competition, uh, high demand uh, for certain niches. Uh, thus Google is uh, making sure that uh, they give proper preference to those businesses, right? Uh, so if you want to get shown on top of the Google and if you have the money, Google PPC AdWords uh, is a great way to do that. Second one is Google My Business is a no brainer thing. Uh, if you are if you're a business catering to your local uh, customers, I would highly, highly encourage you to focus on Google My Business. And then the organic SEO is essentially uh, uh, allows you to get your site uh, ranked higher in the eyes of the Google uh, through value added blogs uh, that allows you to show your expertise, uh, uh, that allows you to uh, show your thought leadership. Uh, then there is something called backlinks, right? Uh, where certain other sites, uh, they try to link back to your own sites. Uh, you can also do some kind of directory listing, just the way you are listing your profile. Uh, about your business on Google My Business. You can also list your business profiles on other sites such as Yelp or uh, uh, some other uh, sites uh, uh, that will allow you to get ranked higher uh, in the eyes of the Google. And then SEO is of course uh, all about content. Uh, it is about your video content. Your tweets are getting indexed by Google SERP uh, engine. Uh, uh, even the YouTube videos, if you're producing YouTube videos, you will get ranked higher uh, on Google's search engine. So uh, that's a quick um, 
primer high level primer on uh, how you can uh, go about uh, elevating your google footprint how you can go about uh, conquering that uh, so website uh, becomes sort of the nucleus uh, uh, and if you're a business owner do do not overlook not having the website uh, that is where it uh, everything starts uh, that allows you to express yourself uh, in terms of who you are what do you do who do you do it for and then you should be able to articulate you should be able to display uh, about you your business your brand uh, your authority what is what is the value that you are trying to bring to your uh, customers your target market within less than five seconds so website is a nucleus and then you can go about uh, sprinkling uh, uh, Google my business uh, I don't think you have to sprinkle you have to have that and then depending on your budget right uh, you can start to sprinkle uh, if you are trying to get more customers quickly effectively instantly uh, Google PPC AdWords is a quick way to inject uh, some cash and then get more eyeballs get more phone calls uh, uh, do you want your office organic SEO is some uh, something of more long-term nature uh, and the results are also long term so long as you are able to uh, add uh, definitive value uh, so uh, if you uh, uh, if you are getting shown earlier for certain uh, certain articles and if you are not getting shown now then i think quickly you can uh, research your uh, niche research your article uh, uh, just uh, try to uh, revisit that content and it can get ranked higher so long as you can uh, able to add value so signing off for now talk to you later let me know how you like it take care bye bye